Franz, did you tell Ardetzweiler we're having coffee out here? Yes, sir. He's still on the telephone. Froschmeter? Any you. sign of the children, Franz? Not yet, sir. Georg, those mountains, they're magnificent. Yes, they're not like any other mountains. They're friendly. Look at that green stretch of woods over there. When the wind moves through it, it's like a restless sea. In that sweet little village? That's not a village, that's a town. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt its feelings. It's fun being with you. You're quite an experience for me. You're quite the experience for me, too. Somewhere in you, there's a fascinating man. Occasionally, I catch a glimpse of him. And when I do, he's exciting. Exciting? I've never been called exciting before. I'm beginning to understand you better now that I see you here. You know, you're a little like those mountains, except you keep moving. How can you be as far away from this place as much as you are? Maybe I've been searching for a reason to come back here to stay. Georg, I like it here very much. Max can't still be on the telephone. I know he's desperate about getting singers for the Kaltzberg Festival, but you like it here? We'd have to spend some time in the Vienna, of course. I have Heinrich's estate look to look after. I thought that was a corporation now. It is, and I'm president. You, president of a corporation. After all, I managed Heinrich's affairs for years before he died. I can't see you sitting behind a desk. Well, of course. I wear a business suit and smoke a big cigar. Excuse me, sir. Herr Detweiler would like his coffee. While he's telephoning. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm sorry I am late. I took so long. Any luck? How about this for the Kaltzberg Festival? <clears throat> the finest mixed quartet in all of Austria, the greatest choral group in all of Europe, and the best soprano in the world. Max, that's something I'd love to hear. So would I. And now I just have to find a basso who isn't even profundo. Max, you always come up with a good festival concert. And why? Because I stick to my motto, that you never start out looking for the people you end up getting. And that's why I've been telephoning places such as Stockholm, London, Paris. On Georg's telephone? Of course. Why am I up here? I hoped it was because you liked me. Well, of course it's because I like you. Why wouldn't I like you? You live like a king, and you have an excellent wine cellar. Max. I like rich people. I like that the way that they live, and I like the way that I live when I'm with them. <laughs> Speaking as a government... <laughs> Garrick, is there a cathedral around here? That's our abbey, Nunberg Abbey. Do they have a choir? I think so. Oh, perfect. I'm going to have to listen to all these small towns around here for the concert. Listen to the Sagaboons. You'll be here for meals, won't you? Of course. It was in a town about that size, Watsman, where I met the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. In 1930, they won the festival, became very famous, toured all around the world. Oh, yes. Whatever became of them? Well, by the time they were rich enough, they could live in America. Who lives in that dilapidated castle down there, Rumpelstiltskin? Baron Elberfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all your friends here. Georg, while I'm here, why don't you have a dinner for me? Nothing much, just something lavish. I wouldn't know whom to invite. Today it's hard to tell whether who's a friend and who's an enemy. It's not a good time to be making enemies. Let's make some friends. I can't understand what's happened to the children. You're not worried about them, are you? They should have been here to welcome you. Well, it couldn't have been an intentional slight, because they haven't met me yet. Forgive me, I'll try to find them. Elsa, <laughs> have you convinced Georg yet? Is he going to marry you? Oh yes, of course. But he hasn't admitted it yet. There seems to be something standing in his way. Oh, my dear, you don't know what it is? No. 
<laughs> I do. What? It's very simple. It's money. 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 He's rich. You're rich. In all the famous love affairs, the lovers have to struggle. In garage rooms away upstairs, the lovers starve and snuggle. Their famous for misfortune, which they seem to have no fear of. While lovers who are very rich, you very seldom hear of. of no little shack do you share with me. We do not flee from a mortgagee. Nary a care in the world have we. How can love survive? You're fond of bonds and you own a lot. I have a plane and a diesel yacht. Plenty of nothing you haven't got. How can love survive? No rides for us on the top of a bus in the face of the freezing breezes. Your comfy old rolls or in one of your Mercedeses. Far, very far off the beam are we, quaint and bizarre as a team are we. Two millionaires with a dream are we, but we'll keep romance alive. Two millionaires with a dream are we, we'll make our love survive. No little cold water flat have we, Warmed by the glow of insolvency Up to your neck since your purity How can love survive? How can I show what I feel for you? I cannot go out and steal for you I cannot die like a meal for you How can love survive? You millionaires with financial affairs are too busy for simple pleasure. When you are poor, it is choose you l'amour. For l'amour, all the poor have leisure. Caught in our gold-plated chains are we. Lost in our wealthy domains are we. Trapped by our capital gains are we. But we'll keep romance alive. Trapped by your capital gains, are you? We'll make our love survive. What do you want? I'm sorry, I didn't know. I mean, I didn't think that, I mean, um, Heil. Who are you? I have a telegram for Herr Detweiler. I am <clears throat> Herr Detweiler. You delivered your telegram. Now get out. Georg, he's just a boy. I am an Austrian. I will not be high. Georg, why don't you just look at it the way that we do? What's going to happen is going to happen, just to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Max, it's a good thing you haven't any character. Because if you did, I'd be convinced I'd hate you. You couldn't hate me. I'm too lovable. Herr Dutchweiler, there's a call for I'll you. from. Straight line. 
Get cleaned up. Get into your uniforms and report back here. At once. Fraulein, where did they get those abominations? Out of a nightmare? No. Out of curtains. The curtains I used to hang in my bedroom. There was plenty of wear left in them. Just a moment. You mean to tell me the people of this neighborhood have seen my children wearing old curtains? Yes. They've become quite popular. Everyone smiles at them. I don't wonder. They say, there go Captain Von Trapp's children. My children have always been a credit to my name. But Captain, they weren't. They were just unhappy little marching machines. I don't care to hear from you about my children. Well, you must hear from someone. You're not home long enough to know them. I said I don't want to hear. I know you don't, but you've got to. Take Liesel. Liesel isn't a child anymore, and if you keep treating her as one captain, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. Friedrich's afraid to be himself. He's shy, he's aloof. Friedrich needs you, he needs your confidence. Don't tell me about my son. Regina could tell you about him. She could tell you a lot more if you got to know her, because she notices things. And she always tells the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. Kurt is sensitive. He's easily hurt, and you ignore him. You brush him aside the way you do all of them. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Louisa just wants to have a good time. You've just got to let her have a good time. Marta, I don't know about yet, but someone has to find out about her. And little Gretel just wants to be loved. Oh, please, Captain, love Gretel. Love all of them. They need you. Stop it. Enough. You will pack your things and return to the Abbey as soon as you can. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things. Not the way I said them. After you've gone, there'll be... show frustrated in the gardens. Yes, show me the gardens. I want to see everything, and with you too. I don't know any of your names yet, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm sure I won't get them straight for a while. I'm Marta. You are not. I'm Marta. You were right. I don't know my own children. They're waiting to know you. They want so much to. After I've gone... No! I want you to stay. If I can be any help... You've helped already. You've brought music back into my home. I had forgotten. To laugh like a brook 
when it trips and falls over stones in its way to sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray I go to the hills but my heart is lonely I know My heart will be blessed with the sound of music, and I'll sing once drop of golden sun, me a name I call myself, follow the way. I came back to congratulate you. Thank you. The captain was really moved. Yes, I think he was pleased. He asked me to stay on with the children. Oh, you're staying on. Until September. September. Then I go back to the Abbey. The Abbey? I'm going to be a nun. Oh, how nice. When you get back to the Abbey, think of us. I'll pray for you. <laughs> That's right. You must do that to all the guests. Come along, kids. The party's started. Gosh, Schmidt, will you fix my bow? We've never had a party in our house before. Oh, yes. There used to be lots of parties here. Oh, Friedrich and I used to sneak out and watch them from the top of the stairs. I remember the music. Once your father brought a gypsy orchestra all the way from Budapest. Oh, uh, yes. They wore red coats. Come on, kids. And mind your manners. I remember beautiful ladies and everybody laughing. <laughs> there was one lady. The most beautiful of all, I think she was here all the time. Yes, Louisa. Can we dance <laughs> while the guests are dancing? <laughs> yes, of course. Remember what Fraulein Maria told us? Yes. 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 You have German blood, don't you? I'm not German, I'm Austrian. There's going to be Anschluss. I warn you, everyone likes you. That goes for our... It's much more pleasant on the terrace. Elberfeld, it's very nice to have you and the Baroness here again. Flash readers, charming, Georg. I hope she isn't ill. Oh no, just a headache. I'm on my way up to get her. We'll meet you at the terrace. Father, I don't think these people are having a very good time. I know, Brigida, and it's your first party, too. Oh, I'm having a good time, even if they aren't. Half the people I invited aren't speaking to the other half. Well, Father, maybe they're having a good time not speaking to each other. Oh, sir, Fresh Rider asked me to let you know she'd be allowed to join you in a few minutes. Thank you. You might see whether she would like this class of brandy. So you remember. Show me. No, I haven't danced since. Oh, you said left hand behind the back? Yes, that's right. But first the boy and girl meet. Then they go for a little stroll. Mm. 
No, Kurt, that's wrong. Let me show you. Remember anymore. Well, Kurt, that's how it's done. Your face is all red. I guess I'm not very used to dancing. Well, hello there. Good evening, Trash Rider. Trash Raider, are you feeling any better? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> oh, Uncle Max, we're having a party. Oh, good. Tell your father it's sure to be a success. Max. Elsa, you must be the most gorgeous corporation president I've ever seen. Thank you, Max. Max, you're back. And as usual, just in time for dinner. Oh, Georg, did you think you could have a party without me? Oh dear, now we have an odd man. A little strange, but charming. Lisa, run and ask Frau Schmidt to set two more places and tell Fraulein Maria I'd like to see her. Two places? We need another woman. Who, Lisa? No, she's much too young. I'll ask Maria. Maria, you're not serious, are you? But of course. <laughs> well, she's a nursemaid. I don't think of her that way. Georg, I don't mind, but you can't ask your friends to eat with Maria. And why not? Elsa, tell them why not. Max, you're talking like a royalist. And that stops me. Being a royalist helps no one these days. Max, can you change in a hurry? Yes, Max, we can use you tonight. Frosh Raider, they were talking about you. Come on, Georg. I've been dodging these people for an hour. Hey, Jeff Weiler, it's nice to oh, see you. Oh, yes, you're going to. I knew it all along. Frau Schrader didn't have a headache. She just wanted to get out of the party. She was faking. Brigida, you shouldn't say things you don't know are true. But I do know. I just heard her say to Father she'd been dodging these people. That doesn't mean she didn't have a headache. It's very important that you children like Frau Schrader. I like her all right. Why is it important? Well, I think she's going to be your new mother. Oh, Fraulein, father's never going to marry her. Why, he couldn't. Why couldn't he? Because he's in love with you. Pekita, that's just the sort of thing. You must know that. No, Pekita. <laughs> Remember the other night we were all sitting on the floor singing the Edelweiss song he taught us? When we finished, you laughed at him for forgetting the words, but he didn't forget the words. He just stopped singing to look at you. And when he speaks to you, the way his voice sounds? No. And the way you looked at him just now when you were dancing? You're in love with him. One more dance, Gretel, and then to bed. Oh, Fraulein Maria, you're not having dinner down with the children tonight. You're having dinner here with us. No, I can't. 
Oh yes, it's all arranged. You'll have to hurry, you'll have to change. Oh, and Maria, wear that dress you wore the other night when we were all singing. It was lovely, soft and white. Shall I announce dinner, Captain? The children will want to say goodnight. No, Elsa, not here. Please, Georg, the way they did it for me, it was so sweet. No, Elsa, not in front of strangers. Please, Georg, for me. Ahem! Max! Presto, charge! Just in time. Kids, now. There's a sad sort of clanging from the clock in the hall And the bells in the steeple too And up in the nursery an absurd little bird Is popping out to say cuckoo Elsa, they were extraordinary. Fräulein Maria taught them to do it. I've been looking all over Austria for something like this, and I find it here. Max. Seven children in one family? Wait, wait a minute, Max. Oh. Georg didn't even want them to perform tonight. I had to persuade him. Oh. So you have influence. Max. Elsa, this concert is important for Austria. And you know what? It wouldn't do me any harm either.
Sister Sophia. Take our new postulant into the robing room. Bless you, my daughter. Ave. Maria has asked to see you. I know it's taken her a long time. I waited until she wanted to come to me. It's strange. She's happy to be here, but she's unhappy too. Why did they send her back to us? Do you know? She doesn't speak. She's only spoken in prayer. I shall see her. Maria. This must have been a trying experience for you. It was, Reverend Mother. Has it taught you anything? I've learned that I never want to leave these walls again. Why did they send you back to us? They didn't send me back. I left. I left without telling them I was going, without saying goodbye. Sit down, Maria. Maria, why did you do this? I was frightened. Frightened? I was confused. I never felt that way before. And then I knew I couldn't stay. I knew here I would be away from it all. I could escape. Our walls are not to be used as an escape. What is it that you cannot face? I, I can't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. Maria, are you in love with Captain Von Trapp? I don't know. I, I don't know. Tell me about it, my child. Brigida said that I was, and that her father was in love with me, and then there he was, and we were looking at each other, and I could hardly breathe. Do you like him, Maria? I like the kindness in his eyes. I like the way he speaks, even when he's stern. I like the way he smiles at little Gretel. Did you let him See how you felt? If I did, I didn't know that I did. That's what's been torturing me. I was there on God's errand. To have asked for the captain's love would have been wrong. I don't know, Mother. I do know this. I am ready at this very moment to take the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. Maria. The first time we talked together, you told me that you remembered your father and mother before they died. Do you remember? Were they happy? Yes, mother. They were very happy. Maria, you were born of their happiness, of their love, and, my child, you have a great capacity to love. What you must find is, how does God want you to spend your love? I've pledged my life to God's service. I've pledged my life to God. If you love this man, it does not mean that you love God less. You must find out. You must go back. Oh, no, Mother, please don't send me back. Please let me stay here. Our walls were not made to shut out problems. You have to face them. You have to find the life you were born to live. How do I find it? Look for it.
little girl in a pale pink coat heard My tempo, not you don't get to fit. I need farts to sit out here. <sighs> Enough, e Enough. Okay. We're going to try this again but a little bit more seriously this time, okay? Lisa, will you give us a dough? I really did think that that was beautiful, but deep in my heart, I knew that that was completely and utterly terrible. Okay, I really need you all to picture that you are standing on the stage of a big concert hall full of people. What concert hall, Uncle Max? Any concert hall, Louisa. Just a concert hall full of people. Liesl, C sharp, please. Gretel, why aren't you singing out nice and loud? Um, I got a sore finger. Now you can sing. The night of the party, you sang so beautifully and with such spirit. And I need that right now. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. And better this time, with good tone and vowel shaping. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> the, the, the poor dears, they were trying to perform for me, because why not? But um, I guess they just don't sing as well as they used to. We need Fraulein Maria. We do not need Fraulein Maria. You can sing just as well with me. Oh, but Georg, may I? Volunteer myself. I've worked with so many glee clubs and I could run rehearsals. Max, please. Now, what would you like to sing? Do a deer, a female deer. Fraulein Maria always started with... We are with... not to mention Fraulein Maria. Come on, Max. I feel like a brisk walk. Oh, I agree. It's quite hot in here. Is anyone using the car? Now, what would you like to sing? Did you play any of your tricks, any of your jokes, Fraulein Maria? Only the ones she liked and laughed at. You didn't put toes in her bed? No! Well, something must have happened for her to leave without even saying goodbye. Isn't Fraulein Maria coming back? No, darling, I don't think so. She was the best governess we ever had. You're not going to have a governess anymore. Oh, good. I'm not sure that's a good thing. You're going to have a new mother. A new mother? Frustrator? Yes, it was all settled last night. I am very happy. Well, it's time for your afternoon walk.
When Fräulein Maria was upset, she always sang that song, remember? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Why don't I feel better? Fräulein, I'm all right. Many telegrams lately? No, Fräulein. I think I'll be glad to be going back to boarding school. Liesel, you can't use boarding school to escape your problems. You have to face them. Oh, I have so much to talk to you about. We have some things to tell you, too. You must have a great deal to tell me. I guess the most important thing is that Father is going to be married. Married? To Frau Schrader. Are you sure? Oh, yes. He just told us. He told us himself. We found him. Lisa. Uh, Brigitte, Louisa. Boys, uh, Maria, we'll be in the nursery. You've come back. Yes, Captain. You left us without any explanation whatsoever, without even saying goodbye. It's very wrong of me. Forgive me. Why did you do this to us? Tell me. Please don't ask me. Anyway, the reason no longer exists. Then you're back to stay? Only until you can make arrangements for a new governess. Oh, no. The children have missed you very much. I've missed. Everybody's missed you very much. Nothing was the same while you were away. Everything was wrong. But I... We'll talk about it later. You go up to the children now. Maria. A new dress? We have a new postulant. I know I'm right, Georg. We'll find him and ask him. <sighs> okay. Georg, settle this for me and Max. How far down does your property go? Can you make out that stone wall? That's the property line. You see? I didn't argue with you about it. I know. Elsa. That makes me furious. I hate to win without a fight. Excuse me, Herr Detweiler. While you were away, you had a long distance call from Berlin. Who could be calling me from Berlin? They said you'd know who it was. Thank you, Franz. What were we talking about? Max, this isn't the first call you've had from Berlin. Oh, Gary, you know that I have no political convictions. Can I help it if other people have? Oh, no. Let's not stir that up again. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria. Max knows this. Then why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep their promise, I'd like to have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh, you agree too? Georg, why don't you just look at it like this, okay? There was a man that was dying. 
They were giving him the last rites. And they said to him, do you renounce the devil and all of his works? And he said, at this moment, I'd prefer not to make any enemies. Did I say that right? Georg, if, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you know what might happen to you? To your property? To your children? To everyone important to you? To Elsa? But to me? <laughs> what will you do if they come? Just sit and wait for it to blow over. And you think it will? One thing is for sure, nothing you can do will do anything. Don't look so serious, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. You dear, attractive, dewy-eyed idealist, today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing deeds of daring do, but up against a shark who can a herring do. Compromise and be wise. Let them think you're on their side, be non-committal. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. You don't have to bow your head, just stoop a little. Why not learn to put your faith and your reliance on an obvious and simple act of science? full of crazy people is somersaulting all around the sky and every time it turns another somersault another day goes by and there's no way to stop it no there's no way to stop it no you can stop it even if you try so I'm not going to worry no I'm not going to worry every time I see another day go Somersaulting at a cockeyed angle We make a cockeyed circle round the sun And when we circle back to where we started from Another year has run And there's no way to stop it No, there's no way to stop it If the earth wants to roll around the sun You're a fool if you worry You're a fool if you worry over anything but little number one That's you That's I And me And me That tall absorbing character That fascinating creature That super special feature Me So every star and every whirling planet And every constellation in the sky Revolves around the center of the universe A lovely thing called and there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it, although I cannot tell you why. Just as long as I'm living, just as long as I'm living, there'll be nothing else as wonderful as I. Each one is important to himself. And you can't save yourself by giving up. And you don't outwit a lion by putting your head. Your call from Berlin, sir. In the lion's mouth. I'll answer it later, Franz. You might as well talk to them now, Max. Go, go. Georg, I think I know what's going to happen here. Can't you see things my way? No, not if you're willing to see things their way. There is one thing you do better here than we do in the Vienna. Your sunsets. I'm going to miss them. Captain! Oh, I beg your pardon. 
Fräulein Maria, you're back. I'm delighted. Um, Captain, the children wanted to know if they could have a break from their studies tomorrow so that we can go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. Thank you. I think that'll make them happy. And may I wish you happiness too, Frau Schrader, Captain? The children have told me you're going to be married. I'm afraid the children were wrong. Georg, if I'm going to get back to the Vienna, I've got to get packing. If you feel you must, I'll tell Franz to have the car ready. Oh no, I can do that. Auf Wiedersehen, Georg. Goodbye, Maria. I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't have said. You did say the wrong thing, but you said it at the right time. The children told me you were going to marry, Frau Schrader. We found we just couldn't go the same way. That door is shut. Sister Margareta always says when God shuts a door... I know. He opens a window. Maria, why did you run away to the Abbey? What made you come back? The Mother Abbess. She said you have to look for your life. Often when you find it, you don't recognize it. No. Not at first. Then one day, one night, all of a sudden, it stands before you. Yes. I look at you now and I realize this is not something that has just happened. It's something that I've known deep inside. For many weeks, you knew it too. What was it that told you? Brigida, she said, she said when we were dancing that night. She was quite right. That was not just an ordinary dance. I hadn't danced since I was a very little girl. <laughs> it's much different after you're all grown up, isn't it? When you were a very little girl, did a very little boy ever kiss you? Uh-huh. That's quite different, too. <laughs> Is it? It is different. <laughs> Maria, your whole life will be different now. I will take you anywhere you want to go and give you anything you wish. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> All I could ever wish for is right here. An ordinary couple that's You know, those two ought to get together sometime. Who? The mother abbess and Brigitte. <laughs> An ordinary couple that's all will ever be. For all I want of living is to keep you close to me, to laugh and weep together while time goes on its flight, to kiss you every morning and to kiss 
you every night. We'll meet our daily problems and rest when day is done. Our arms around each other in the fight sun. And ordinary couples across the years will ride. Our arms around each other and our children by our side. Our arms around each other. Maria, is there someone I should go to to ask permission to marry you? Why don't we ask the children?